Hi friends, Christine here with Lilla Rose. And tonight I wanna show you seven different products with a couple styles. Um, some of them I might only show you one style, but a lot of them you can mix and match. But first, if you're watching this live and you're here with me, say hi. And if you're watching the replay, would you do me a favor and put a uh, comment below, hashtag replay. And I would love it if you are brand new to Lilla Rose and of this is your first time being introduced to the Lilla Rose hair accessories, would you comment uh, brand new down below? I know a lot of ladies in this group um, have Lilla Rose and love Lilla Rose, so feel free to comment as well. But if you're brand new, I'd love to, to, know, to know that. So I'm gonna start with what I already have on my hair. This is what I put it up in my hair this morning. And it is one of our brand new Flexi Flips. In fact, it's the newest Flexi Flip. Um, its name is Rhonda. These are named after some of our directors and it's been fun to see these come out. And they're a little bit different. I'll be showing a video um, later on in the event uh, that shows all about U-pins, or I'm sorry, not the U-pins. Um, I'll be showing that too, but about the different flexies and flexi flips. This is a flexi flip, meaning it can be worn multiple ways. And I'll show you a little bit when I take it out. But this is just a ponytail. This is three day hair. Probably could have, should have washed it, washed it today. And if I had known I was gonna go live, I probably would have. <laughs> but then I realized my weekend was getting away from me with a graduation we've got coming up. So I wanted to go live. So three day hair. So it was just a high pony using a flexi flip. And these are very much like our flexies. They're made out of piano wire. They don't have a centerpiece and they have notches on both sides of the pin so that you can flip it this way and it catches on that bar there. Or you can turn it around and flip it this way to catch, um, make it a tighter hold. It'll still catch about the same amount of hair, but it just holds tighter for different styles. So you could, this, the flexi flips, there's only three sizes of the flexi flips, but each size will fit like for three regular flexies. So this is the medium, which is the middle, middle size. We have a small, medium, and an extra. And the small will fit extra small and medium. So it's, they're kind of a little different in their sizing. If you have questions, let me know. I know it can be kind of overwhelming and I will be posting a sizing video um, with the flexies um, and these will be very similar. So you can just message me and I can um, tell you what size flip you would need if you wanna go that direction. But again, just look at those colors. They are just beautiful. And this one's called Rhonda. Whoops, just popped. That one's Rhonda. So that was the flip and you can do probably any of the styles I'm gonna do um, this evening with the flip. But I am gonna start with our regular Flexi. This was our signature uh, Flexi. It, was patent it is a patented product um, from our owner, John Dorsey, and it's made out of piano wire. Now, most of the Flexis are some without that are really simple, but some of them have a centerpiece and some of them are very blingy and I was tempted but I would go too long if I started to show you a bunch of the different ones we have. But trust me in that we have some very simple to very ornate and dangles and elaborate ones, ones with pearls. And the thing I like about the pearls is that you can wear with jeans or on a night out on the town. So with any of these really, you can mix and match. So I'm gonna show you the Flexi. Now there are seven sizes. This again, this is a small, the third size up. And they fit generally more hair than you think they will. And you go by, I'm going to post that sizing video um, tomorrow. That'll probably be one of my first posts tomorrow um, so that you can look at that. But they go by your ponytail size. So you want to find what your ponytail diameter is to find your flexi size. So the most, you'll be able to do the most styles with the, the flexi that'll fit your pony. So just as an example, this is again, this is a small. I'm going to stick the pin under. I hold the hair like that. It flexes over and I just stick the pin through on one of those notches. Super cute, super easy ponytail. And again, I've got three day hair, so I know that, that there's a part of my hair that always wants to separate after a day or two. So I know that's, that's happening. So I'll try and cover that up, but that was a simple ponytail. So now if I wanna do with that same clip, I can take just part of my hair back and flex it over again. And then with that same clip that I did my ponytail, that is completely secure and gonna hold really well. And the thing about halfbacks, you can put them up high, you can put them back low and loose, uh, you can twist, you can braid, you can get so many different looks with a halfback um, style. So like I said, I'm doing this in a really big hurry to, to get through the different products. So with that same clip, I'm going to do a tails up, 
kind of like you would do for a claw. So when you twist your hair up, you know, and you just would stick that claw on it right there, instead of a claw, I'm gonna take my flexi, stick the pin in, get the clasp, get hair from the other side, and I can, I can separate the hair, I can pull it over. I like putting it to one side. If my hair is wet and curly, sometimes I will separate it like that, but it usually doesn't look that great unless I've got my hair naturally curly. So I usually flip it to one side. Then I'm going to do a French twist, incorporating all my hair. Now, depending on the length and the thickness of your hair, you may need to size up for this one because you're incorporating all that hair into um, the flexi at once. So I'm gonna do what I call a cheat French twist. Now, um, someone had commented if I could show them the thumb trick. You can use your finger, you can use two fingers, you can use your thumb. I typically use my thumb, and this is what I call a cheat French twist. I struggle to do a regular French twist. Uh, my daughter does one really well. And the longer your hair is, the harder this might be able to do, but if you have shoulder length or just below shoulder length, this trick can help. Um, speed up your, your French twist really easily. And I actually use it for a lot. So I start with a ponytail and I put my thumb over my ponytail and then I bring the hair around so that it hooks toward my head over my thumb. Then I'm going to twist up on keeping it on my thumb so that I keep twisting that hair. And if you can see it's pulling up in, I'm just gonna demonstrate that that hair just kind of disappears into the twist. So I'm gonna do it again, not pull it up quite so far, but I twist up. And then if you have some left over, you can just tuck, tuck that in. And then you kind of just smooth that hair over, get the ends in so that you have a nice smooth twist like that. And then I'm going to take my small flexi and I'm gonna put it toward the top. If I have a medium, I would go a little lower but if I put it toward the top, I can use my small, and that is going to secure my French twist very securely. So that's with a flexi, those styles, there are so many more, but those are kind of my quick go-to um, flexi styles. And again, you can interchange a lot of these um, accessories I'm gonna show you with those styles. So, all right, that's the Flexi. If you have questions, um, let me know and I'll probably get to them when I'm done with the video just to keep it rolling because um, I know there's usually a delay. The next thing I wanna show you are our U-pins. Now with our U-pins, you get a set of two. They're called U-pins because of their shape and then they're curved um, to go with the shape of your head. So I am going to show you that French twist again. And I'm gonna just secure it up tuck those ends, tie that over. Now I take the U-pins and I'm going to insert them so they go up, grab hair from outside, flip it over and pop that in. Now one will hold it, but you get two. And I was actually looking for my flip-flop U-pins, but I think I sold them. So these are my sand dollar U-pins. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but they're really, really cute. So just that quick and easy. You can do ponytails with these. Be sure and watch my um, U-pin tutorial in the swirls because I'll show you a bunch of styles that you can do with these ponytails, multiple ponytails um, with these. In fact, if we have time, we'll see. I may go ahead and show you a ponytail with those later. But with those, you get a set of two. Now with our swerves, you get, and I meant to get one that didn't have any adornment, but I, I grabbed the one with the blingy one because I love turquoise. So these are our swerves and these are our beaded swerves. And again, you can do the same same type of thing. Um, I'm trying to make sure I get the, the flexi with the, okay. I just want to make sure that I cop, got what um, you all had asked for. Um, so with the swerve, I'm going to do a loose bun. Now the picture that was shown earlier, the girl has just beautiful, much thicker hair than I do, and it was curled beautifully that day, um, and it made a really pretty bun. So I'm gonna do my best with third day hair, which is not gonna be the same. But um, if you have the, we have, in fact, you know, that's what I was gonna do. I'm gonna spray some of our dry shampoo on this because this is gonna help a little bit on, on that. Um, if you haven't tried dry shampoo, you need to. We have dry shampoo, and we just came out with we're coming out with a heat protectant, but we've got lots of um, 
styling aids, rose water, sea salt spray, um, and I'll be putting a text um, about those later, but that can get you one more day out of your hair before you have to wash it again. You can usually get stretch it out with that dry shampoo. So I'm gonna let that dry just a little bit. Okay, that really did kind of make a little bit of a difference. So I am going to take, with this one, I'm gonna make a loose bun. Instead of tying it up, I'm just gonna wrap it loosely, okay? like that because I want it to be kind of fluffier. Although, with, like I said, it's gonna be a little harder with this. I'm gonna do the same technique I did with the other ones. I'm going to grab, and I'm gonna go a little bit under the bun this time because I want to secure it, but not have it show as much like on the one. And then bring it up, just stick it through. And again, watch that other tutorial. And then you can kind of stretch it, pull to have that kind of a fluffy, fluffy or loose bun. So hopefully it's kind of hard to, to tell, but, and with some of them, the flexi will completely disappear. If you get the ones without any beading, um, you will have the flexi will go into the bun and you really won't even see it, but it will hold so securely. Um, so that's a real light hold with the flexi. Now, if I want to do a French, not a French twist, I'm sorry, a Celtic knot, I'm gonna, and I've got other videos on that. Um, I can do that with the, I'll just kind of catch it and put it through like so. And again, these are so easy. I am not a hair person. My sister always did my hair for every dancer prom I ever went to. So if I can learn these techniques, which are so simple, and really it's the same technique over and over and over again, you'll be able to do that. Um, simply, quickly, like out the door in 30 second styles with your hair looking cute. So that was a Celtic knot. All right, the, then before I get to the bobby pins, which is last, and be sure to watch the hair band tutorial because I'm not gonna cover hair bands um, tonight. So you'll wanna watch that because ours are so unique. They can be worn as necklaces. They're very, very versatile. Um, but the last, th the swerve I wanna show you, our U-pin, is our acrylic U-pins. And these come in tortoise, all kinds of colors. I just love these. And I thought this one would show up in my hair um, nicely. So with this one, I'm going to do a lazy wrap bun, which is similar to the Celtic knot, but it's also great for third and fourth day hair <laughs> as needed. These are the things, the swerves are the things I take when we go backpacking camping. That's the only thing I need um, to do my hair. And they're, they're just that comfortable and that great. I sleep in them. So I'm, this time I'm gonna have the curve up and I'm gonna follow that finger down and then I'm gonna scoop it and come back up where I had my, my thumb and that will hold that lazy wrap bun. And I typically do that one a little bit lower. Some of the buns I do higher if you want like a top knot. And I've got tons of ways to do a top knot. Watch that U-pin uh, tutorial that's coming um, in the next few days. But that's a lazy wrap bun. Again, super simple, super quick. And lastly, I had a request for some bobby pin hair hacks. And our bobby pins, I wish I'd brought in a traditional bobby pin down because they're not like any others. These bobby pins, you can't stretch them out. I mean, you can, if you did that to a regular bobby pin, it would stay like that, stay open. These are so strong and so secure. Um, in fact, you have to be careful. I'll show you a technique of getting them out of your hair because um, you don't want to pull it. But the good thing is, is that it will stay put where you want it. So if you don't want the bobby pin part to show, and you, we have so many beautiful um, bobbies and different designs like that, you may just want that part to show in your hair when you pull back a little bit. And you can do it high, low, you can position it wherever you want with bangs if you want to pull bangs back. Um, I will show you. And I'm going to start, I got my thumb just barely in there, and I'm going to pull a little bit of hair back. And then I start with it upside down and push that in like so. So can you see that upside down? And then I'm going to flip it over, end over end, and then come back angled toward that twist. And then it kind of gives it a little bit of a roll of itself. And you can see just the adornment and the pin hides in that hair. So you flip it over 
I'll do it again just to show you. But when you take it out, I'll show you. Hold on to the end. Hold on to the adornment and the thumb underneath. Find the end of the pin where it, where it landed. And you're going to squeeze that hair down. And what that does is you pinch that hair and bring it down. It opens up the pins a little bit on that bobby pin. And then even, I, you know, squeeze it out as much as you can. But there's chances are it's still holding hair. So because it's so secure. I put my thumbnail in it as I pull it away. That way I'm not pulling out any extra hair that I don't want out. I'm gonna show it to you one more time. So you start with it upside down, partially open, and then you just kind of stick that in upside down. And then I'm going end over end, keeping that end on the scalp, roll it over, and then I'm gonna angle it when I slide it in toward that twist. And then you've got that hidden bobby pin with just the adornment, okay? And the last thing I wanna show you, after I get this out, and again, pinch, pinch, pull that hair down on both sides to open up that pin, and then pull it away. Yep, there's still one in there. All right, lastly, I'm gonna show you a hack because I'm not sure I'm gonna get to share this video or not. We'll see, is a ponytail with bobbies. And with these, we have some that have the decoration all the way down the, the pin. Um, and I love those. We've got some with like glass, colored glass. These are just, I don't know, they're just a little blingy. I'm not sure exactly. They just have some glitter to them. They're not glittery. I mean, that like glitter is not going to fall off. They're just like faceted, but they catch the light. So pretty. So I'm going to use those. Those are called Caprice. And I'm going to take, I'm not going to use an elastic. You really try not to use elastics with anything with little rows. I'm going to take some hair out. I'm going to wrap it around my hair and create my ponytail. So that becomes my, my band. And that's all I'm going to, to have there. And I have, we can do this with U pins, but I'm going to do it with a bobby pin. I'm just going to slide this, the bobby pin along that band. And then because I like the look of two, you can do it with just one. One is going to hold it. They're that secure. You won't be able to do this. You can try it with your regular bobbies, but chances are it's not going to hold because they're not this tight like, like these. So then I'm going to slide down another one. And you could one have, have one come up, one come down. We have a set of arrows that I like to have one going each direction. Um, but, you know, kind of line those up parallel. And there you have a ponytail without elastic, without hair breakage, and without a headache because it doesn't pull all of these um, accessories. The idea is it's it locks into your hair itself. It's not pulling on your scalp. So you don't get those what I call hair aches at the end of the day. When you take those elastics out, you're usually having breakage. And then I know when I would use an elastic before, it would take like 20 minutes for my head to stop hurting because those nerve endings that have been pulled back all day on my scalp had to settle down um, and relax again. So this really never pulls on your scalp. So they truly are unique accessories. And I'm excited to um, bring you some more tutorials. I am passionate about um, showing uh, customers how to get the most out of their Little Rose accessories. I'm always looking for new ways to wear them um, and to interchange different styles with them. I Again, I don't have hair skills. I would love to be able to braid, but I can't even French braid. Uh, but I can use these, and they're pretty much in my hair and in my arsenal every day, uh, whether it's a working out, especially the swerves. I will sleep in these to put my hair up and it doesn't matter if I've gone my hair naturally wavy or if I've curled it that day. I wrap it up tight or loose depending on how I have put my hair, sleep in it with a satin pillowcase and the next day I take it out and I basically finger comb and go put maybe something else up on my hair. Um, but these are amazing tools whether you're working out or sleeping. So uh, the swerves without the beads would be your best bet for exercise um, and sleeping. Or swimming. The actually the acrylic ones would be awesome for swimming, but you can use um, go swimming with a lot of our flexies. With the precious stones, the flips and stuff, I probably would not. Or any of the really ornate ones, I probably wouldn't. But a lot of the plain silver ones, you could you could even swim in. Just rinse them off when you're done. 
So that's it. I hope that you are excited about Lilla Rose and be sure to, again to comment hashtag replay if you're catching the replay or brand new, comment brand new if you are have never seen Lilla Rose before. So I look forward to seeing more of you this week. Um, shoot me a message. I won't be going live again, but I will be available um, to chat with you um, as needed. So you guys have a great evening. Bye-bye.